general law and order situation you are all aware of uh, uh, we have had successful general elections successful ulb elections uh, again i would like to congratulate cp dimapur and entire nagaland police for doing a wonderful job throughout the state during the elections we have had uh, fairly good success in all aspects of policing in nagaland uh, including drugs uh, catching of arms and ammunition liquor and it's not some of it is not just rest, uh, restricted to only dimapur and koima but also throughout the state say for example longlang and on, mon also have done a good job you were all a part of the morning flagging of ceremony so the idea is to get more vehicles into the state police and uh, in dimapur and koima since mobility is a problem we thought we will go for two wheelers so that the response time is shorter uh, for the time being we have equipped about 15 of these vehicles these bikes with uh, gps we will endeavor that we can equip as many as possible maybe up to 80 of them with gps so that the officers in dimapur and koima and maybe even in the phq can have an integrated look at where is the location of individual uh, response team so that we can have a faster response uh, as i mentioned briefly uh, in the morning session there are certain other things which will also be coming up in the next say 10 days or 15 days uh, since it is all work in progress i will not want to divulge all that but whenever we do adopt that tactic we will make uh, make sure that you are aware of it uh, but one thing which uh, probably we will start from monday uh we were thinking of giving a short sort of a press note for this but uh, since uh, we are meeting here i thought i will uh, appeal to everybody uh, to the media and also a separate press note can go we are thinking of evolving a slightly different approach in uh, security so you must have all seen that uh, our uh, ir and nap patrols which are going out they are going out for 8 hour shifts or 6 hour shifts in a day uh so we are thinking of changing that system a little bit uh for at least one shift in a day for the time being one shift in a day the patrols will not be for 8 hours or 6 hours they will be for a shorter duration but they will cover almost the entire state okay so uh the idea is to cover cover as many places in possible not only just irs it is irs nap df the df uh, reserve people so uh maybe next week sometime next week onwards you will uh, the public of nagaland will see around uh, checking that uh, about 150 to 200 locations taking place simultaneously throughout the state okay uh i would uh, while this is a new initiative i would uh, request or solicit the cooperation of the media and the public on this it's a new process it is a new initiative to make all of us secure initially since we are also going to be evolving how to do it there may be some inconvenience to the public the same vehicle may be stopped at two three four places okay but this is because we are also evolving slowly we will try to work on it slightly more scientifically and try to ensure that people are not troubled at multiple places in the state when they are traveling uh the idea is to have an element of surprise in all these checkings uh and have a so far as possible have a carpet coverage of security in the state for whatever duration i'm not it i'm saying a shorter duration I, i'm not saying whether it will be 10 minutes or 5 hours it will be less than 6 hours <laughs> so because if we tell you how many uh, what hours then everybody will sort sort of guess it is from 9 o'clock it is 1 hour it will be till 10 o'clock only so we don't want to tell you that so the timing we will uh, centrally monitor it from the phq what time they are going to be deployed but we intend having a carpet coverage for checking of vehicles and persons throughout the state for shorter durations uh, this element of surprise i think will put the criminals and the anti social elements on the back foot because they don't know when we will come and which locations we will be present at so hopefully it will make everybody secure uh if anyone from the public wants to share information during that process uh about criminals or anti social activities most welcome we will reward that 
and even for our own police personnel who are going to be part of these MVCPs, if they catch any criminal or anti-social element or, rent, or criminal activity, they will also be suitably rewarded. So I request uh, the cooperation of everybody in Nagaland on this aspect and uh, you will bear with us for say about 7-8 days, 10 days till the time uh, we make a better arrangement so that less inconvenience is caused to the public. Yes, we have, but uh, we will not want to go into details because these are operational issues. The whole operations will get jeopardized. We have leads, okay, uh, but no specifics. As and when we get to, when the, when the operational work is completed, we'll get you, uh, we'll let you know. Only, only this much you'll tell, we have picked up five people. We are on the right track. Arrested, arrested yeah, picked up and arrested five people. Uh, we are on the right track, uh, but uh, we will not go into further details because more operations, more work is in progress. Let me also say that yes, Baharuddin was a very big success for Nagaland Police and for uh, the entire uh, law enforcement community in Northeast. But probably he is not the bigger, not the biggest one. Also, he is a more notorious one, but he is not probably the bigger or the biggest one. There are bigger people than him, which we are aware of. Uh, Baharuddin is wanted in multiple cases throughout Northeast. Uh, we have been in touch with some of the other state police forces where they have. Uh, he is wanted. Uh, he is also wanted in a case of DRI, where his co-accused have been sentenced already to 10 years. Okay, so uh, he is wanted in at least at least five to six cases in Nagaland. At least I am saying five to six cases in Nagaland. Uh, currently, he is he has been booked under the preventive detention provisions of the Pit and DPS Act. He is lodged in the central jail in Dimapur. I think it is around four and a half crore or something like that, roughly around four crores. I am not sure about it. As I said, I have not come with the figures, but uh, so roughly you can multiply 35 multiplied by the price of a Bolero plus about say one lakh ten thousand for a bike, roughly uh, that much. Uh, see, it was a very uh, considered view that we went for the bikes. One is for the traffic reason and the other is because the same amount of budget we have to maxima, maximize the input uh, output that we get. So we thought we will buy more bikes so that we can have more mobility for our people. And this is state government, just state government, yeah. I mean, okay, let me also just uh, clarify a certain part of it, okay. Uh, there is a scheme of government of India which is called modernization of police forces, okay. It comes in various forms. Uh, the state allocation for Nagaland under that scheme was just about 4 crores last year. Okay, So don't think that we are getting everything from the central government and we are fully dependent on the central government or central government gives us everything. So a lot of it what we get is also from uh, the state government. So this particular component is from the state government funds. See there are a few operational things we have done which don't want to put it in the public domain. We have put solid systems in place where we are able to detect uh, movements of people. Uh, however, uh, honestly, as a policeman, I am saying it is not possible to check every person and every vehicle. Okay, so this will keep happening. Uh, the, our best uh, shot is better public cooperation. Uh, in fact, for this, I will also. I, you are aware that uh, I, on my social media handles, I had already mentioned once that we'll give one thousand rupees reward per soap case which is caught. Okay. Not 1,000 for helping us with information, but you give us information, once we catch it, we'll give 1,000 rupees. Khabar dile tate bhi paanchta aase koli na divo de. Khabar divi dhori le to 5,000 divo paanchta thake le. Ito aase. So, uh, I have given this uh, already on my social media handles. I think it got a lot of uh, good vibes. Uh, in addition to that, the Narcotics Control Bureau of Government of India has and the government of India has a scheme of rewarding of sources and investigating officers for catching drugs or giving information of drugs. Uh, we had made, made decent seizures, but the scheme is that we first give the reward and then the government of India reimburses that. Okay, So we were not in a position to give that reward because we sort of did not have money for that. Okay, uh, But uh, recently, uh, in the past say 20 days uh, or so, uh, Nagaland government, Honorable Chief Minister and Deputy Chief Minister, 
minister have approved a fund of 25000 25 lakh rupees for as a recurring amount for giving rewards to whether it is to officers or to sources for that 25 lakh rupees so which means i can give a reward of up to 1 lakh and then i will get it sent to narcotics control bureau they will reimburse but my 25 lakh remains okay so now we are sort of not going to be constrained in giving information but that information has to be specific people i would request people to come forward with information meet us meet the senior officers okay i think if you meet uh, cp dimapur and igs digs and igs and above i think we can maintain secrecy of the person uh, who is sharing that information so that is uh, one thing that i wanted to bring it to the notice of everybody uh, be grateful to the state government uh, then another thing is where people stay you know people are coming from manipur or from other parts of the country either so manipur it is bringing drugs the other part of the country people are taking drugs here from okay yeah, you recollect a case where three people or two people from punjab had been caught so this drug was going to punjab right on the border to tarantaran in uh, on the punjab uh, pakistan border uh so we need to check the places where people are staying in kohima nagaland dimapur various parts of nagaland so we are trying to come up with some sort of a system for uh, firstly tenant verifications and second about hotel uh, checkings okay uh briefly we will come to more details we'll give you a powerpoint presentation in due course once we start off but briefly uh, in delhi and all they already have the tenant verification systems okay so we will sort of modify it as per our requirements and use a similar thing uh, we will request all the landlords to cooperate with us all the ngos wards everyone to cooperate with us because what happens is someone from anywhere in the country a criminal will come and keep a bag with you ame 2 ghanta te hai bode you are caught with the bag in your house you don't know but finally you are caught okay similar is the thing with transporters and transport also it is the driver sometimes who is doing it without the malik knowing what is happening leasing. okay so ha huh? leasing. leasing of another thing is a recent case that we caught was uh there are some again it is a request to uh, this particular community uh, there is a group of uh, companies or some business establishments in dimapur and kohima who are renting out vehicles or leasing vehicles on say 2000 5000 rupees per day people come to you say ek din laga diye so you you take 5000 rupees allow the vehicle to go in one particular case we caught a vehicle which was carrying 110 soap cases it was vehicle on lease so these rent a car or whatever services by this name uh, i have discussed with cp dimapur rig range and adg lo we would want to formally invite them even through your channel through your medium come and discuss with us so that we put a system in place so that if anyone is renting a vehicle from you please inform us okay then if the vehicle is caught with a drug or a with an anti social then the vehicle is not going to be held accountable other it's because this well fellow is taking your vehicle you don't know what he's doing on the way back he's bringing that drug or whatever okay so the similar thing i want to request even for the transporters who are plying their uh, vehicles into manipur so please come meet us uh, you can meet either me or adg lo or cp dimapur or ig range we want to put the system in place where we want to protect your give you shelter for good work but people in your setup who are black sheep we want to caution them uh, the other thing is uh, about the hotels even currently the hotels are supposed to give daily statement of occupancy to the police to the police station uh, currently it is being given in hard copies uh, we are planning to sort of make it digitized so as and when someone comes to your hotel you upload the details it is available with them available with us okay so we also want to solicit their cooperation for doing this you don't know who is staying there but at least if we know we know who is a criminal you don't know who is a criminal so if you tell us who is staying we will be able to check that criminal or that anti social activity so as you what you asked i'm answering your question 
what other initiatives so these are the initiatives which i call it territory denial to the criminals we try to deny space to the criminals they are not able to use this these facilities for making nagaland unsafe more more things will come uh, we'll keep you informed as in when they happen all these are internal there are internal some instructions which exist okay uh, as as you also said that it is primarily the job of the district administration state government uh, there are many methods of doing it but i think the basic method is probably the sharing of the database of ilps that they are issuing if i don't know who has been issued a, an ilp how do i check who has not been issued okay so i think uh, putting that system in place or a similar system in place is the beginning whatever directives are issued or are going to be issued it is a secondary thing first we have to have a system which is good where it is transparent which tells us who is having an ilp who is not having an ilp so i think there is some work which is required to be done i am sure government is uh, yeah there is a committee headed by the deputy cm yeah there there was a committee headed by the deputy cm i think uh, the, about 10 days back or something uh, a report a report has been submitted so we will probably await further instructions from the government before doing anything yeah police has all the powers will check for everything <laughs> we will not give away any of our powers we will not give away any of our powers we will not take anyone's powers also <laughs> a crime is a crime you know i don't i don't define a crime <laughs> the law defines a crime and if it is a crime i'll check for everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah we know that again uh, since you raised this about the documents you know uh, <laughs> uh two things one is stolen vehicles please don't buy stolen vehicle people will give you vehicle at a cheaper rate in nagaland if anyone is giving you a fortuner which is worth 35 lakh for say 10 lakh presume please presume that it is a stolen vehicle i would put it this way okay uh the person who is selling to you may not be a criminal he also may have got it like this okay so one is that the second is uh, from our records from whatever checking we have done there are a number of vehicles which are running with uh, applied for and unregistered okay we have cautioned earlier we will start picking up these vehicles and not releasing them these are a major cause of problem yeah unregistered vehicles applied for vehicles and then also vehicles which were auctioned from various government departments in the past which are still running with nl number nl 10 number plates okay not only is this a crime but you are also depriving the state government of revenue okay you are obviously you are not registering a vehicle if it is 5000 rupees state government gets 5000 rupees no so i am going to we are going to start uh, catching these vehicles and not allowing them to play play on the roads people public is not even aware familiar with the old laws <laughs> but but uh, the some of the challenges that we will face is uh, one is training our own manpower okay because there are some changes which are there some of it is training our manpower the uh, second is there are certain mandatory provisions in the new laws for example forensic recording of evidence through mobiles and all so that uh, unfortunately uh, our capabilities there are not very good most of the states are like that probably but uh, since we have a resource constraint our uh, capabilities and equipments are not very good so hopefully over a period of say year or so one year one and a half year we should be able to make up it's almost a daily affair regarding that so to in a way and then like as you are asking regarding the unregistered vehicles uh, without number plates therefore we have started seeing like and until that unless they get it registered we are not releasing it now sir uh, since yeah. the last about two weeks back they are going away you know, like as you know like one thing it's somewhat like satirical but then we police are empowered to enforce but we are not allowed to uh fine would collect the uh, part of taxes no so they were like enforcing me only wrong parking or well we 
we would have noticed like uh, parking for only two wheelers or all those and you must have seen like some banks that just put up notices like parking for bank staff only. Huh? They put up in their own airport. Huh? So we have start, started removing all those over and we have run them over. So like uh, parking in no parking areas or also, we are taking the, uh, daily action. Last year, when this uh, multi-level parking in Kohima was inaugurated, uh, last year I think, by, by Mr. Hardeep Puri in Kohima, uh, there also Honorable CM mentioned this, that we need to be more disciplined. Okay, so we don't need to be disciplined only in the parking place. Okay, I think we need to be also disciplined in our town and country planning. That if you are making a building which is having 100 shops, then you need to have space for 100, 200 people. Okay, that is, I think that is where the problem is. That is where the problem is, not just the indiscipline among drivers and people, but the planning part of it. When you are, uh, unfortunately, we don't have a system where uh, people are taking, say, permits, and everybody will probably take, start construction on its own in his, so, yeah, so we just hope my friend Sandeep is saying, hopefully with the ULBs coming into place, this, they will probably try to plan it much better. The town planning will become much better. Although there are, there may be other departments, but then urban local bodies, I think hopefully they will be able to plan it much better. Uh, I think, personally, I think, uh, going by my experiences elsewhere, that uh, these parking and all could be a good money, uh, earner for the local bodies also if they do it properly. So that will solve the problem, that will give them money and with that money further problems can be solved, you know, more parking spaces and all. So they, you need money for all this. You don't get money for all this. So hopefully these urban local body, bodies will bring in a lot of good things to the state. And sir, like regarding the traffic management, I should say that I think our friends from the media will agree with me also. I think the motto is one of best management in the whole office. I can, uh, I've been here simply for around one year, seven months now. Huh? But it, on any day, I've never stopped in a certain location for even one minute. Huh? So traffic management, I think we have one of the best in the office in the entire office among the towns and cities. I think the problem of uh, traffic in Dimapur as well as in Kohima, as already mentioned, it's not just an enforcement issue. There are engineering issues, there are educational issues, because enforcement is just one aspect of traffic management. But there are many other aspects which I think equally important. You know, we have the four E's, which is the enforcement, the efficiency, the engineering, then the education part. So all this has to go together. That is one aspect. Second aspect, what already, what Sir has already mentioned, See, the kind of building constructions that are on, especially by the roadside, if you see from here, if you go around the Timapur, you will see that a lot of buildings are encroaching into public space. Not only that, you can see that, in fact, you know, the, the drainage capacity is also not there. The water is actually draining down into the roads. So that is one of the reasons why the roads are also not, you know, we don't have durability of roads and that the roads get, uh, you know, washed off or we develop pop and all. So these are larger aspects where, you know, the, the aspect of town planning is also important. Or the aspect of, uh, you know, uh, if the roads are not broad enough, ultimately, public has to park the vehicle by the roadside. Yes, if there's a very latent violation, then of course, police can always intervene. Police intervenes and then we, we take necessary action. But these are larger issues of governance, these are larger issues of urban planning, and uh, also, you know, the, the awareness and the fine appreciation of what constitutes a public space and a private space for all the citizens. You know, public space is public good. And it is for the common good of each and every one of us. So I think uh, a decision has to be made in terms of uh, all this, uh, you know, the finer aspects of what defines public good and what defines our private space. And if that happens, maybe gradually, you know, the uh, infrastructure will improve and things will be easier to enforce. So that is the way forward. Thank you. Uh, Please continue your cooperation, uh, not only coverage about the good works of Nagaland police or the government, but also please try to bring to our notice anything that 
requires our attention okay this is equally important we we also learn with people pointing out our mistakes please let us know if we can improve somewhere thank you very much nagaland tv sob manulaga awas watches live on geo tv and on your television sets as well for dimapu viewers we are on channel number 994 in global chapter and kohima and mokokchung viewers switch to channel number 138 on hornbill digital for all news and updates follow us on facebook instagram youtube and twitter